Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you GD Script in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to clean up movement and jump by using a single combined movement vector. So it's going to be quite a few code changes in this. So sorry if it goes a little fast, but when you're done at the end, you are going to have much closer to a finished platformer movement. And by much closer, I mean, you'll basically be done. So to start, let's go ahead and add a new variable called movement velocity. So I don't have export because we don't want it to be accessible from here like these. And I'm not setting it to anything because we're going to be using ready instead so that it only gets set once in the very beginning. So movement velocity, let's set it to vector two, zero, zero. And we can delete this. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and update our movement. So let's add one more function called move. And this is going to actually do move and slide. And we're going to use movement velocity and floor normal. And so what this does is after everything is done, we are going to set the velocity to whatever this movement velocity is with this floor normal. And spelling correctly is very important. So now that we've done this, we can go ahead and replace all of these move and slides that are squashing each other's velocities with a single call movement velocity equals movement velocity minus move speed. So you can comment it out by hitting control K and we'll just do this with the rest as well real quick. And let's do it there too. So now we say movement velocity equals movement velocity. You can hit tab to autocomplete plus move speed. Movement velocity equals movement velocity plus jump speed. And then movement velocity equals movement velocity plus gravity. So if you look at this, um, there we go. We're going to move left. So if the left arrow is pressed, we're going to subtract move speed, which goes to the right. If it's right, or if we have right held down, then we are going to add move speed. If we have jumped, then we're going to add our jump speed. And every cycle, we are going to add gravity. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So that's not right. Let's try jumping instead. So jumping doesn't work and we just fell off the ground really quickly. So why is that? Well, for one, we are adding or subtracting velocity every frame, which means that at frame one, our velocity is 360 if we're going right. At frame two, it's 720. At frame three, and on and on and on. So what we actually wanna do is set the x value of movement velocity to zero every frame. And now our movement is acting correctly. So awesome, but we just disappeared off the map when we fell. So that's because once again, the same thing is happening. Every single frame we are adding gravity. So it goes 360, 
720, on and on and on. So what we actually want is to use this is on floor and say movement velocity dot y equals gravity dot y if we're on the floor. Else, we add gravity. So if we are on the floor, our gravity is persistent, 360. However, if we are in the air, we are going to be adding gravity every frame. So this will counteract the jump speed, as well as if we fall off the platform, we will go fast. But it won't be immediate. So there, falling is working correctly, but we still can't jump. So why can't we jump? Well, we have to be on the ground to jump. So order of operations, we go move jump. So if we have up pressed and we're on the floor, go ahead and add our jump speed to the velocity. That's right. Then we move over to gravity. Okay, we've added jump speed, but we are still on the floor. So we're setting the velocity in the y direction back to whatever gravity is. And that's not right, because that means that whatever we added to, it is being reset right here. So what we can do is take move gravity, cut it, control V to paste it. And now when we save and run, That's looking closer. All right, we are jumping, but we are jumping insanely high. So let's go ahead and update our gravity to be a lot lower and our jump speed to be a lot lower. So I've tested these out, 50 and negative 1000 seem to be good. So we're moving around and now we can jump. We can jump when we move, we fall correctly. And if we go to the edge, we speed up as we fall down. And that is it. You can go ahead and delete the commented code if you want. I like to get rid of it if it's not used anymore. And you now have a working character for a 2D side scroller. So we have our movement. We can move left and right. We can jump. We can add gravity. And all the movement is finally taken care of in this move function. And this is the only place that we are updating the velocity. That is it. Um, in future lessons, we are going to be looking again at jump to see if there's anything we can clean up, as well as moving on to building our level. So that's going to be a lot more fun because we're going to do things like add more platforms and we're going to add coins to collect and have moving platforms and scrolling backgrounds and all sorts of fun like that. But for right now, we are done with moving our character. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.